charge for mistakes uh just wanted to give you a little uh rundown of some um just cool little ways you can tell i'm kind of incorporating a little bit of, of things here um not meant to be earth shattering or anything but this is like just a, a really really great simple chord relationship that i think is very very important to hear the tension and release of just the one chord uh g G13, G major, G dominant 7 to the 5, D7. So you're getting that real nice where the G if you just take this A shape well that turns into a D7. So this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about with the chords and really mapping this this stuff out. Now I did, I tried to stay on two strings as much as possible for that first little bit. And then obviously I went down to, uh, I started on the B and the E string, but then I went down to the G uh, and B string. Now this is obviously, um, uh, Pretty, pretty Spanish sounding. Of course, you're gonna think that uh, right off the bat because it does have that kind of feel, that kind of rumba blues feel. Um, but this is a great way to work through things like you started seeing me go through some arpeggios and stuff uh, halfway through that. I got away from the, the two note kind of harmony notes, um, you know, that I probably will title this video as, but um, getting into some of these like, That's 
the kind of stuff I'm talking about. It's melodic, but it's right out of the chord. Watch. <laughs> up G major right out of that uh, right out of that E shape then D dominant seven arpeggio starting from the five going down resolving back to that major third so this is kind of how this stuff's starting to work what I'm talking about um, so that's the idea and and these little resolve things you know the, this is the major scale right but when I go like this okay that's up the major scale from the D shape G it's G, A minor to G, really, if you look at it like that, but just these two notes. Now, when I go back, I can put the little C shape. So. Breaking this stuff like, like this up is a big, big, big thing. You're really getting into these two note things. Like I, I did this. That's G in the E string. Because there's your D7, your D9, there's your G. Right out of the chord. So this is a very cool chord relationship that is a lot of fun to play over. You can also do any kind of two five substitution over that five chord. So if I'm just going, I can put in a B minor to the five over the one, even though I'm just playing one to five. Now that gets a little advanced uh, for some of you guys, but um, the ones of you that kind of are hip to the two, five, and jazz, anytime I'm going just, you know, over that five chord, the D, I can superimpose B, uh, sorry, A minor to D to G, so watch. similar. Here's D7. You're just changing the bass note over the A minor to the D7 to the G. Now, that might confuse some of you guys, but I'm just saying that the A minor, that 2, 5, 1, because watch what that sounds like. right here again uh all that kind of stuff now i know i'm running through this pretty fast and again you know of course i got to say check out the links below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already goal is to hit six thousand if you like what you see and you're getting something out of this, uh, don't be afraid to uh, to hit the tip jug. Um, have, I've had some amazing uh, people contribute um, to the cause. That helps me pay for things like uh, recording some of these new songs that are coming out. Was in the studio again today with Maddie Alger doing some really cool stuff. More to come on that. Um, and so, man, uh, thanks again to everybody for the great comments and the, um, man, I'm sorry about that bot that's in there commenting on everybody's, uh, replying to everybody's comment. Me and my, my team, 
are working. Uh, my uh, girl that does my social media and my website guy, we're trying to figure out what the uh, the problem is with, with this stuff. I guess the more followers you get and subscribers, this stuff starts coming out of the woodwork. Uh, so don't let that bother you. We're going to get that taken care of. We're, we're on the case right now. The boys in the back room are working on it. And um, so, yeah, just enjoying a rainy day, a rainy Saturday here in Nashville. Hope everybody's weekend is off uh, to a great start this holiday weekend. Um, trying to find some music to go here in Nashville. Uh, I'm probably not going to see anything tonight, but might go see Jimmy Hall down at 3rd and Lindsay tomorrow night. Jimmy Hall is amazing. He's from Mobile, Alabama. Lived in Nashville for a long, long time. You've probably heard him with... Uh, Jeff Beck singing and playing the harmonica. He's uh, incredible. Uh, I call him the the um, the uh, um, um, Mick Jagger of the South. He's an amazing performer and just an unbelievably soulful, um, talented, talented guy and super uh, awesome singer. And he's from my neck of the woods down in South Alabama on the Gulf Coast. He band leads for Hank Williams Jr., sings some with Jeff Beck, um, and he, he was in a band called Wet Willie that had Keep On Smiling. Remember that song? <laughs> same chords I just went over oddly enough that's not the right riff but you've heard keep on smiling um anyway uh might go see him tomorrow night playing Monday night and Friday night at the underdog with Dylan Altman and friends Kevin McKendry on keyboards from Brian Setzer and Delbert and all those great great bands I'm so lucky I get to work with fantastic uh easy for me to say fantastic musicians I'm the luckiest guy in the world I'm always the worst musician on on stage in my opinion uh, and that's how we, we keep learning. We jump in to the fire and, and hope we come out unscathed. Uh, the good news is, is with music, if you hit a wrong note, um, you might get crucified on the internet, but you're not gonna, uh, nobody's gonna get hurt, right? So, hey guys, check out this two chord thing. Uh, have fun with this. Uh, let your ear be the guide. Don't get too caught in visualizing the fingerboard. Although when you see me, I'm always looking down because I don't want to make a mistake, even though there's no extra charge. Um, Please do check out the tip jug. That means a lot to me, guys. And uh, and um, you know, like I said, for the price of a of a of a nice cup of coffee or a couple beers, you could change my whole week. So um, there's that. And then um, of course, you know, just all the other good stuff. You know, trying to stay positive, motivated, trying to not eat uh, a whole lot of uh, uh, cupcakes and, and ice cream, and um, and so just rocking on. Um, guys, I really appreciate it. I know this is not a super long video, but I wanted to keep them coming and I hope you get something out of this. Um, much more to come. Check out Artist Works. There's new stuff there. Uh, you know, like I said, again, please subscribe if you haven't passed the word. Uh, just onward and upward, man. Thank you guys so much and uh, enjoy your weekend wherever you're at and uh, have a safe weekend as well. Thanks a bunch, guys. See you soon. All right. Bye.